Hey, everybody. We're the Ungodly Geeks. I'm Joe. I'm Luke. Luke forgot his name again for a moment there. There's a like, new thing for Godzilla and Lava Godzilla, and I don't know. It just All right, so I gotta, it took away my brain for a minute there. Got to start a little bit. Obviously, yep. we always start with, or we try to start with, news is stupid. This time it's in our own backyard. <laughs> there are two Coleraine High School students diagnosed with whooping cough. Oh, I did hear about that. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, year to date... Last year, like this time last year, there were five cases that had been diagnosed in, in our city. Yeah. Um, well, I guess in Hamilton County, which is the county we live in. Um, this year, same date, mm-hmm. the case, the number of cases have uh, eight times as much with 41 cases of whooping cough. Isn't whooping cough a preventable childhood disease? I was thinking, like, don't, isn't that uh, something you get a vaccine for? Oh, wait, they don't want their children to get autism Yeah, because autism is apparently bad um, because autistic people can't uh, lead normal because lives. Because autism is worse than death. It's autism just... is worse than death. Autism is worse than getting the mumps and dying. Yeah, and whooping cough. And whooping cough and dying. Rubella, rubella and dying. Yeah. You know, like, like, really? God damn it. Are we just going to discount autistic people? Yeah. Like, listen, I make fun of literally everyone. No one is safe for me, not even me, but there's like... Like, seriously, autistic people can lead normal lives. Mm. Like, it's, it's not a bad thing to be autistic, right? <laughs> Unless you are the 4chan autist, you know, because I, I consider the way they use the term, it's a completely separate term. That's an insult. That's yeah. like... Well, no, yeah. it, less of an insult and more like its own beast. Yeah. Its own, like, person. Um, its own thing. <laughs> uh, like... It's a it's weeaboos. You know how it's weeaboos. Yeah, it's weeboos. It's, it's the otakus. Um, because you know how like like all right, there's like there's always it's the, the meta- it's just the it's the internet autism. Yeah, it's the internet version which, of which which is a completely separate autism from actual autism. Yeah. Um, I I would never make fun fun of an autistic person for being autistic. Now that being said, if that autistic person living a normal life and they do or say something dumb that is not a result of their autism, I'm gonna make fun of them for that. Yeah. Because I'm gonna treat them like I would anybody. Like an because, person. Yeah, because that's really kind of what they want. Like, they may not be able to process certain things, but they are aware when you treat them differently from other people. Yeah. So, um, D.L. Hughley's stand up, I think, it came out last year. I just watched it the other night. And he talks about the fact that his son is uh, autistic. He has uh, Asperger's and all that. And he's like, um, <coughs> but he brought, you know, he brought his son. I, I don't know exactly what he you know, how he brought his son up other than, you know, brought him up as normal as possible. Right. Um, son's got a degree, can drive, you know, take care of himself, all those sorts of things. But he knew he was different the whole time. Right. Uh, and he said, uh, at one point his son came to him and asked him, he's like, hey, you know, I don't know. Yeah, I got all this, but I, I don't know how to talk to people. I, and, you know, he's lonely basically. Right. Um, but you know what, with- as somebody who does not have autism, I relate to that. Yeah. D.L. Hughley <laughs> talked about, you know, spending a lot of t- more time with his son, bonding with him. His son started being more outgoing, talking to people, yada, yada, ended up having a girlfriend. And D.L. Hughley's like, I don't know about anything else, but I do know the cure for autism is pussy. <laughs> 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 it's like, it's all fucking, that, I was, uh, I haven't, I haven't seen a stand-up, uh, like, a set from D.L. Hughley in years <laughs> that I can remember. I, Turn like it a, on randomly. It's fucking great. Like, you saying that name made me go, oh, yeah, he He's still a, exists. Still a thing, yeah. Like, every once in a while, I'll go through the Netflix and be like, oh, oh, shit. There's, there's a lot of, like, old stand-ups. I was watching um, Richard Pryor the other day. Just, just oh, like, man. old stuff and then finding more and more that I haven't seen. Yeah, no, Richard Pryor is one of those things. That you can go down that rabbit hole and you're laughing. You're yeah. busting the fucking gut. You're having a hernia the whole time. Because, like, even stuff from the 70s, like, it's so distant from where we are now. And it's definitely not politically correct. Everybody, like, if you had Richard Pryor today, he'd be catching oh, no. so much oh my shit God. from the Twitter crowd. And well, there's, like, a, there's a lot of jokes people just wouldn't do today. Yeah. Even, even like, ignoring the whole PC and the Twitter crowd, can'ts, blah, blah, all that stuff. There's just some jokes that I, even comedians 10 years ago that did wouldn't do today just because it's not, it, it's not where they want to be. Yeah. It's not... Uh, you know, got the right. Uh, hey, you know what, guys? We talked about horse fucking for like ten solid minutes yeah. on this podcast. We'll go anywhere. Yeah, but I mean, even so, there's stuff that even I would have joked about years yeah. ago that I won't. I won't make a joke about now, just because I've grown as a person. 
I mean, I might just to fuck with people. If it's funny. That's the thing. Yeah, it's like, got to actually be funny. Well, and a lot and, of those old, that, thing, old jokes aren't. That's where, it go, that's where George Carlin comes in so well. Um, because he always, he talked about that because he was facing that shit 10, 20, 30 years. Well, yeah. not 10 years ago. He's been dead for a while. But he was facing that shit 20, 30 <laughs> years ago. Um, where he has. I mean, you know, let's be honest here. I, and he would want that. He would want us to be frank about his death. Because that was the kind of person he was. Yeah. Um, but yeah, he... Uh, he sat there, he faced that kind of shit. You know, he talked about joking about rape. You can't joke about rape. People say rape's not funny. Fuck you, I think it's hilarious. And then he goes into it. He, he goes into it. pig being and he raped t- by Homer Fudd. Yeah, and we, I know I've brought this up before, but it's like, he has that point. Because you can joke about anything. It just, how do you construct it? What's the exaggeration? Where's the punchline? Yeah. You need to consider those things. So if you're going to joke about something horrible like that, you got to go way the fuck over the top silly. And he did that with Porky Pig raping Elmer Fudd. And everyone starts, well, defending Porky. Like, well, yeah, he's Porky. <laughs> Why? Elmer Fudd was asking for it. And it's just, it's one of those things that he constructs it so well that it is goofy and it is funny. I did say D.L. Hughley, right? You did, yeah. yeah okay, did you good. mean somebody else? No, I did mean D.L. Hughley. I was just making sure because then I got in my head because I watched. I seriously, like, the last week or so, <laughs> I've just been going through watching random stand-ups that I hadn't seen. Right. Or that I hadn't seen in a while. Started rewatching some. Um, and that was one that I watched and was like, oh shit. Yeah, he was really goddamn funny. Oh yeah, no, he's a great dude. Like, he's, yeah. he's one, isn't he one of the four original kings of comedy? Or, he might be. I don't or remember. Or maybe he, he worked with that group. I don't remember because I smoke a lot of marijuana. Mm-hmm. And marijuana affects short term and long term mm-hmm. memory. Marijuana affects the brain. Um, and it's just so much. You know, though, it makes me also uh, forget bad shit, so I'm okay with it. <laughs> it makes the world a better place for a little while. It does, you know. It like, makes everything better. Like the memes make the pain go away. <laughs> and the marijuana <laughs> makes the bad memories that cause the pain to begin with to go away, so it's fine. The memes the memes let you laugh at the pain. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> it's like, still there. I can laugh at my pain because funny. of memes. Thank you, meme makers. Keep doing what you're doing. To everyone who steals memes... I mean, keep doing what you're doing too, because I do the same thing. If it's posted on the internet, it's uh, free. Uh, yeah, nothing's whatever. original. Yeah, you know, you, you just take it and copy it, and this is mine now. You know, it's like that <laughs> comic where the little thing, the little guy walks up to the other guy. I made this. You made this? Mm-hmm. Yes. And then he takes it. I made this. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Yeah. <laughs> that's what it is. You know, that's how it works. And you know. Uh, and it goes, world <laughs> goes back to Fight Club, where everything's a copy of a copy of a copy. That's never been more true today. Oh yeah. So, all right. So, guys, we did a thing, and we enjoyed this thing. Yep. Um, we went and saw Pokemon Detective Pikachu. Um, literally two hours before we're recording this now. Mm-hmm. And um, I have to say. Hollywood finally did it. They made a good video game adaptation into a movie. Yeah. Like, it, it was legitimately enjoyable. Um, so, I'm going to go ahead and tell you right now, we're probably going to spoil some things. But, if you've been paying attention, you probably already know the major twist at the end of the movie. It's it's a pretty, very, like, if you've watched the trailers, or if you go see the movie, you're going to know what's coming. It's it's a, it's a kid's movie, primarily. Yeah, I mean, um, it, it's designed to obviously appeal to the younger crowd. Yeah. Although it does appeal to us for nostalgia's sake. Yeah. The funny thing is, I was thinking about it, and it's uh, it, if before I was kind of like thinking, oh, well, you know, it's it's a Pokemon movie. Is that necessarily a video game movie? And then I remembered, oh, wait, no, this is a fucking this video is, game. This is actually a Detective Pikachu game. Yeah, Maybe it is, helps that, no, like, nobody played the game. <laughs> maybe so. I don't know. I, <laughs> it helps the movie. I did not know that it was a video game. I knew it was a manga. I yeah. did not know it was a video game. And then it's like, oh, yeah, no, that's a video game. I'm like, oh. I remember hearing about the video game because that was the big thing of that the, the kid in the game could understand the Pikachu and then completely forgetting about its existence until the news came out that an actual live action movie was getting made. Right. The, like two or three years ago or more, maybe. Uh, and then that first trailer came out and was like, oh, my fucking God, they're doing it. They're doing Pokemon. They're doing real life Pokemon, too. Yeah. It's weird. It's, but like, it's fun. It's some uncanny valley. Lickitung is awful. Yeah, no, Lickitung was... 
I think I think horrifying. That that was probably the worst. Yeah, I gotta say, like like a lot of them were really weird looking. So like I said, mm-hmm. we're about to spoil the movie. So if you haven't seen it yet, spoilers. There's a fuckload of Pokemon in this movie. There it's are a fuckload. So of Pokemon. great. But we're gonna get into actual story stuff here in a little bit. Yeah. So uh, if you haven't seen it yet, you want to keep your uh, virginity intact. Um, stop <laughs> listening now. Virginity intact. But seriously, it's it's a kids movie, so like every little basically the twist, twist was telegrammed to your face like Doctor Roxo's <laughs> cock to every member of Death Clock in yep. Metalocalypse. So if you haven't, you, if you can't Death figure Clock. that out, I can't help you. Yeah. Now the the whole point of it is the kid goes to look for his father and finds a uh, Pikachu, and somehow he can talk to the Pikachu. Yep. And so that he's... that's that's the premise of the movie. That's yeah. that's where it starts. Um, and he thinks, of course, he attributes it to the what's called what we later learn is called Serum R, which is this uh, sort of smoky, gassy thing that drives. This is why you don't fuck with shit that you don't know what it is. Yeah, why would you open that? You're he looking was... at that. That could have been a fucking human soul. So he, you know, it reminded me. Have you seen the Archer episode where he goes after Kenny Loggins to try to get him to play at Lana's baby shower? Yeah. And he shoots the case, and out of the case is just blinding purple light right and archer makes a joke that that's a human soul in a case that's what this reminded me of is that a fucking are you is that a fucking pokemon soul in a vial i thought he was gonna release like a ghastly yeah because right? uh i from the, the they only show the ghastly a little bit in the trailers uh ghastly fights a um uh blastoise that was and, actually a Gengar. Oh, I'm sorry, Gengar. Whatever. Yeah. But they, the They're way it similar, moved yeah. around and was gaseous. I didn't really like the Gengar's look all that much either. No, no. But um, mostly because it was really gassy and... I, I don't know. It was okay for a ghost Pokemon. I mean, but... We'll, it didn't look like a Gengar, though. Right, but anyway... Because what we're used to seeing with Gengar is actual, tangible, like... He has a form. Yeah. He's not just a ball of gas with a face. Yeah. So, That's yeah. kind of what they did in the movie. But what Joe's talking weird. about is when the kid does get to his father's apartment... He finds a little vial of, like, this is obviously bad shit. Yes. And starts fucking playing with it. And he opens it. <laughs> and and you know, gasses himself. This, this black purple, ga- blackish purple gas, which was admittedly one of the cooler CGIs, I thought. I thought the effect on that was actually really cool, which yeah. is why I thought it was going to be a Pokemon. Because they put a lot of effort into a fucking gas bomb. I mean, it's not difficult to do that kind of thing though. Like Sure, but it, it was those, still Those effects are very simple, very easy. We've been able to do them for years. So it's one of those things where we've gotten really good at that kind they of They could thing. have used a $1 firework for the same effect. That's, that's what, what I'm saying. saying. Like but yeah, that's there's, the there's, point. There's no... That's also the point I'm making though cuz it's <laughs> just so easy to do. In fact, I wouldn't have doubted that if that was partially practical effects like you said they use a shit a cheap fireworks to produce a smoke and then just colored it purple in post. I don't know. It looked and through stars and sparkly in it. It looked really, really heavy CGI. Like I mean, but again, that's why I th- it, it seemed like it's going to be more special. It ends up just making Pokemon go wild, which is kind of interesting. I mean, it was special. It was though. just really it was dumb. Very that he's, special. That he's it was just fucking with it. The way, like, why would you do that? Like, I'm all uh, for having like that innate curiosity. I fully support being curious, right, in all forms, because curiosity leads to knowledge, knowledge leads to understanding, understanding leads to everything getting better. But it's like. <laughs> Leads to hate, <laughs> suffering. Okay, <laughs> all right. But Let's no, be shitty. It, it was. Uh, I guess the one excuse is, you know, obviously the audience you're watching the movie, you know, there's a mystery going on. At that point, the kid didn't. He's just now going to his father's apartment. Yeah, no, he's just getting into he's the just story. Fucking with shit. Like this is maybe five minutes after he uh, finds out that his father died in a horrible accident. Well, yeah, in. Movie time. It's probably a while because he well, takes Well, obviously, because it's shit. dark and shit. But yeah. The beginning. No, no. Go, we got to go talk about the very beginning. Oh, the, of the very movie, beginning. Where love, him okay. and his friend, his friend's trying to convince him to catch a Pokemon. Yeah. Because he doesn't have a partner Pokemon. And I guess that is a thing that everyone has in yeah, this it's, world. It's like ha- not having kids. And everyone's like, you got to have kids. Like, no, fuck I, it's you. It's almost worse. Yeah. It's like, it's like, it, it's just, you, just you. You're, you're alone. And they make it very obvious. Mm. Like, no, no, no. This is pathetic. This is like sad. It's, it's like, not having any friends, any not having anything is the way they kind of make it. Yeah, out no, they me. make it out like you're a neat. Yes, <laughs> no or, education, or worse. training, or employment. Like it's like, well, almost worse because he's at least has a job, and they're still like, you know, you don't have your partner. You to be fair partner, though, he's not being looked down upon the way neats would. No, be. no, it's so. like they look at him like it's so sad. <laughs> oh, you don't have one. 
Like, like, don't you want? Why does everyone keep saying that? <laughs> He does get very defensive about it. It is. Um, (laughs) His friend (laughs) takes him out, and he's trying to get him to catch a (laughs) Q-bone. And the excuse is he's so lonely, just like me. Just like me, right? And he's like, well, yeah. (laughs) Pretty much. (laughs) The Q-bone was so sad. And then the Q-bone beat the shit out of him. (laughs) He fucking walks up, and he's like, oh, you're wearing the skull of your dead relative. (laughs) Not many people can pull it off, but you You do, buddy. (laughs) Like, what? <laughs> it was so good. Why did you think that was going to work? <laughs> Cubone just sitting in the middle of a field crying. <laughs> because that's what Cubones do, mm-hmm. but usually at night. But whatever. Oh, that was funny. Yeah. Um, but, it, and he fails, like we said, gets shit beat out of him. <laughs> I love that that friend never pops up in the nope. rest of the movie. He pops up for like the first three minutes of the movie. They get through that, and they walk back to his, you know, his place, uh, the main kid's place of employment. Tim, yeah, his name is Tim. Through town. Tim. All right, Timmy, <laughs> uh, Tim Johnson. Um, he goes and they get back to where he, the guy works, and get that's when he. Oh, I have service now, motherfucker! You've been in town for like an hour. How do you not that's have what service? I, that's what was funny to me. Like, how shitty is your little town? Right. Like, how shitty is the phones? Are are you with Sprint? Because so, I understand. <laughs> it's rural, so yeah, I get it. Yeah. You're not going to get service. But it's like he gets back, and that's, he has five voicemails, and he checks them, and that's when he finds out his dad does. So he goes and does the thing, talks to the detective, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Yeah. Well, what's funny is they do kind of make a direct reference to Pokemon, the, the you know, the world and the games and TV show, where the, the friend is like, everyone else has left. Uh, and I, now I'm leaving, too. When are you yeah. going to leave town? Yeah. So it is that very much you kids just leave town and go do stuff. Go I find mean, themselves that's a in thing. the world. Except they don't do it at 10. They apparently do it in their 20s. Yeah, so. they do it when they're 20. So, you know, that's a little bit. Or maybe they do start doing it when I, they're 10 or 11. Know, yeah, I mean, it just happened that these guys are the neats of their town. <laughs> but I then mean, the question becomes, how does the town keep alive? Like Maybe the growing, kids come back after maybe. they've had their journey they fuck, make more kids who go out and They realize that they're not going to be a Pokemon master and give up on all their dreams, which I thought what was going to happen in this, but yeah. it, it didn't. No, He's, it went the other the way. Kid, yeah, the kid just never started his fucking dream because <laughs> he, he's sad his dad liked Pokemon more than him, kind of. Uh, he He's sad that his dad wasn't around. Yeah. And, like, later in the movie, and blames he blames Pokemon. He blames Pokemon. Well, he blames... Uh, yeah, he does. Yeah, in a way, he mm. does. But he understands later on. No, I, yeah, of yeah, course there has to be that growth, the character development, the oh man, Pokemon aren't that bad. Uh, Pikachu be my partner. <laughs> Pikachu had more uh, character growth than uh, God. Captain Ryan Marvel. Reynolds is so good. Just to, just to having his voice in this movie. Yeah, like uh, the kid's not terrible, Tim. Yeah, Tim's um, not awful. Some of the acting around it's not great. Yeah. The story, obviously, the story is, you know, it's, said, it's a kid's because movie. It's supposed to be, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's a Pokemon movie. Um, but it's fucking every, every time Ryan Reynolds speaks, it elevates and is legitimately funny. There's like jokes that don't land at all, <laughs> but generally, if the joke is Ryan Reynolds delivering it, it's yeah. funny. And I think a big part of that is just hit his voice. I, and it's just him. Like, he's in general, like, he's a funny, he's a legitimately funny guy. He's yeah. really good, like, at off the cuff stuff like that. Like, so much better than anyone else that I think I could ever know. You know, he, he's just great. At, at, least, that. at least for actors. Yeah. For the most part. Yeah, I, I find him more. As far as we know, he might have a ghostwriter who's just, like, the most amazing <laughs> dude ever. You, you would think that, but then, like, you see him in interviews and stuff, or you just see him, yeah, like, no, on, like, the really red market, and he's just, he's just hitting, he's landing jokes effortlessly. It's like, I want to be that, but he's I can't got that because I'm old. Um, yeah, it's like, it's, it's amazing to watch. Like, it, it's almost inspiring. Mm. You know, like, like, whoa. And I, I really got to ask, like, how much liberty did they give him with his lines? Because obviously he can't curse. No. But there's there's clips of him cursing uh, <laughs> as out Pikachu? there. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's just him recording. So oh. It wasn't ever. They apparently, you know, just whenever you do voice acting, they do stuff to, like, uh, warm up. Right, you know, right, right. Of in, course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. And there's just him, apparently, a string of him cursing. And I just really wish that they would make it, you know, animate Pikachu saying that shit. Just because it'd be hilarious. That would be amazing. There's adorable little thing basically saying, yeah. fuck you, but in Ryan Reynolds' voice. That's the funny thing I was thinking about this movie is really, Ryan, like, as far as voice acting goes, he's not, there's no voice acting. It's just Ryan Reynolds talking. No, no, he's talking. There's no, that, just... it would be funny to hear, but I mean, I could imagine it coming out of Deadpool. 
Yeah. It's funnier, you know, if you could see it come out of Pikachu's voice and mouth. But as far as voice acting goes, it's like, well, I mean, I could hear, like, any other voice actor doing their character. Yeah. Squir- like, swearing. And it'd be a thousand times funnier. <laughs> because it would be that character actually, you know, yeah, in yeah. their voice. Yeah. Like Timmy Turner. Fucking, <laughs> fuck you, ma! Yeah, like, 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 it would be great. But... This is yeah. This is just Ryan Reynolds. Yeah, uh, it's just Ryan Reynolds. That's all it is. It's like, all it needs. <laughs> that's all exactly. Like there, there is no him being Pikachu because obviously Pikachu has a personality, but not in like a traditional sense, right? He's a, he's a fucking electric rat, <laughs> right? He he's a little mouse. Simple. He's an electric mouse. Yeah, he's not a rat. He's a mouse. <laughs> they make that clear. <laughs> I don't know where, but you know, <laughs> I, you know, it wasn't a joke in this, but. That would have been a good joke. It would have been a good joke, yeah. Um, I'm a, get out of here, you electric rat. Uh, I'm an electric mouse, thank you. We prefer mouse. <laughs> That's racist. But then again, I, no, well, there's Raticate. Yeah, there's Raticate. You know, there's they never show any normal animals. No, because there are none. Okay, so there are none. Yeah, yeah. no, I mean, in the Pokemon world, every animal is a Pokemon. At some Which, point, of course, brings up so many questions. Yeah. Like, do we do we eat? Are they uh, eating Pokemon as well? Yeah, are they? Uh, I mean, like, are we milk Miltank, right? Are we yeah. also slaughtering Miltanks to make oh, hamburgers? Buffalo things? Yeah, or like like the bison. Uh, yeah. What what a uh, fucking Tauros? Do we do we kill yeah. Tauros for things too? <laughs> like, I mean, they're, are, are they're we, in are farms. We, are we are we skinning some of these Pokemon for their fur coats? You know, like, uh, and they live in the whole point of Rhyme City is it's. Pokemon and people living together in harmony. Right. No po- which is weird, but they still have partner Pokemon. Yeah. With no Pokeballs. Yeah. I don't know how that works, but there's not supposed to be any Pokemon battles. There's an underground Pokemon Battle League. Of course, yeah. There's got to be. Wouldn't there be. I mean, there's always going to be. Wherever there's people, there's organized crime. And wherever exactly. There's, wherever there's a demand for that, that organized crime is going to fill it. And apparently Pokemon enjoy battling. Yeah, I, I would think, yeah. Probably on some I mean, levels. That's, that's still a Could thing be like instinctual almost, yeah. Because, yeah. I mean, they make that kind of clear. Like, they're because when we get to the aforementioned underground battler. Yeah. There's a lot of Pokemon cheering and. Yeah. Like, they're enjoying the watching it. And there's the, the, obviously, the gas gets released multiple times in this movie. That's one of the points. Uh, and the, the asshole Charizard trainer uses the gas to give his Charizard an edge. Um, but even before that, the Charizard was looking for a, a battle. Yeah. I mean, okay, we should probably explain what the gas is. Um, it just pisses Pokemon off. Yeah, like it, it sends them into a sort of confused and enraged state. Yeah. They get stronger, they get faster. It's like steroids for Pokemon. Yeah. I don't know about stronger and faster. They specifically say it It makes them wild and right. confuses them. Uh, does the, it, it I mean, arranges and, them and everything? Sitting there and uh, and removing any sort of mental limitations they may have, like sure, it, I, I think you that more. It's vicious. gonna make you less likely to hold back, and viciousness yeah. can be a form of strength. I'd say, I'd argue. Yeah. So, I mean, when you're willing to just do whatever the hell you need, you you think you need to to win. You know, that can be a form of strength that can inspire you. You know, and I think it can same could be said. The funny thing is, in a Pokemon battle, that's like that, that seems like that would be the worst thing you could do unless your Pokemon was so much stronger than what the Pokemon you're fighting because there's a lot more yeah. tactics to a Pokemon I mean, yeah. battle than there is I mean just be super tactics strong. is I mean there's not <laughs> it's you push the button. In, no, no, in no. An actual I mean, Pokemon. Yeah, but in strategy. And what strategy. we've been seeing, yeah, there's a little bit type type advantage. Type so. advantage is all that. Yeah, Pikachu beat a Charizard flying versus yeah. No, it's going to happen. Electric mouse. Like it makes sense if the. But in that instance, there has to be a major strength imbalance in the Pikachu's favor. I mean, um, they, the Pikachu. The whole thing in this battle scene is. Um, they're trying to retrace his father's steps. Right. As um, he was investigating uh, the purple gas. Which, like I said, we later come to know, it's known as Serum R. Yeah, which is, I guess, a reference to Rocket. Probably, yeah. I'm going to guess. Because they, they call it R gas and R serum, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. And the, But there's no, there's never any like, oh, it's because it's a fucking car, uh, R chemical from Mewtwo's blood. Which they do get it from Mewtwo. Yeah. But there's like, I, I mean, you could call it Serum M or something would make more sense. Unless they had been making multiple serums and just went through the alphabet and got to R. Yeah, like and Google it does with Android version, you know? Mm-hmm. Yeah. They, they've, they started... 
<laughs> they started with, uh, as far as I know, they started with C. Yeah. A and B, I think, were dog food testing or whatever. C was released to the public as Cupcake, and they've just been moving the fuck on. Or um, the fucking uh, Starship Enterprise. <laughs> yeah, right? How many Enterprises has there been? Uh, six. Lots. That's a 1701, 17, uh, 1701, 1701A, B, I'm just C, going off D. of the movie where they, they they go back in time. Well, no, that's what I'm telling you, though. Like, that's how the many D, there have been. Yeah, okay. Yeah. D was the one for generation, okay. or for a next generation, and There's then E was the next alphabet, one. letters in the alphabet. Oh, yeah, tons. But, um, but as far as I can remember, and I might be wrong because Enterprise, I never watched it because I don't care, um, which I heard is good, but I don't really give a shit. Um, yeah, the, the 1701 was the original Enterprise in the, in the original series, and then they got a couple of them got destroyed until they got the D, which is the D is in the next generation, which and then E was in some of the later next generation movies, which was a vastly improved model. Yeah, because it got destroyed again. Yeah. And again. And again. Yeah. I mean, the fucking Enterprise D got destroyed so many goddamn times in the next generation, you could almost use it as a drinking game. <laughs> um, but, of course, they always found a way to reverse it. That's I'm, weird sci-fi shenanigans. I'm assuming that R has to be a reference to Team Rocket. Yeah, I mean... Because I think it, they don't even... They don't mention Team Rocket when they talk about Mewtwo being no captured. Mention, there's no mention They mention of Team him Rocket. being created, and that's it. Yeah. They mentioned him being created in the Kanto region, which I don't know what region we're in right now, but Rhyme City, I think, is an actual location in Pokemon. No, the the only the only links uh, to it are the fact that they mention the other regions. Rhyme City is a whole new creation. Uh, we might be wrong. Let's see what it says here. Uh. It isn't the. It actually is the setting of the game. Okay, well, the setting of Detective Pikachu. Um, it does not know. You're, you are correct though that we don't know what region it's in. Yeah, but it is part new... of Generation Six and Seven. So, yeah, but um, it's, a, it's the setting for the game no one played. That might have helped this movie be pretty goddamn good because no one played the goddamn game. I I don't know, man. Uh, it was I'm on sure 3ds though, did. so I mean. Yeah, I'm sure some people did. Apparently, it sold well in Japan. Yeah, I think Japan was the only place it was released, wasn't it? No, it was released in the United States. Oh, yeah, it was released. Uh, I yep, think there's a sequel, March 23rd. Too. Um, Maybe not. I don't Either fucking way. know. <laughs> um, but that's one thing that I kind of wish there was more of, would be references. And on, and I could have just fucking missed them all. Right. But the only reference to the anime that like sticks out to me is the Jigglypuff with the marker. Oh, yeah. Which, in the movie, they don't have that scene from the trailer... Where she's drawn all over the guy's head. No, no, but it does. Sh- the, like the initial part of that there. show up, yeah. So you, see, you see her singing in um, the uh, little like. Okay, apparently the way shop. it goes is there was a Detective Pikachu game release on the eShop in 2016, mm-hmm. which had their first three chapters of the game. The game that was released worldwide was an expanded version of that game, oh. which had the rest of the chapters, I guess. Yeah. Um, it's kind of neat, kind of interesting. Uh, the full game. Yep. I'm not going to read through this because holy shit, there's a lot here. It was like 17 paragraphs. and no. There's lore. Detective Pikachu lore. Uh, yeah, a little bit. Um, but yeah, I don't I don't remember many or any other references, to be honest. I, Other than that Mewtwo hates humanity but re- realizes that there are some humans that don't suck. Yeah. So you could, it could kind like of be any an group of people. Like any group of people has assholes yeah. in them, and he realizes, well, not all of them. It could be an indication of you know him meeting Ash in the first movie and all that. Yeah, I mean, I think well, that would have taken place twenty years earlier. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, like it's kind of weird yeah. when he was created and whatnot. Yeah, um, because yeah, he realizes you know because Ash sacrifices himself to stop the battle, blah blah mm-hmm. blah, and he restores him or whatever. So, yeah, um, crying Pikachu, crying Pikachu, crying all the crying Pokemon. All the, yeah, but especially the crying Pikachu because <laughs> he's just sitting there trying to wake him up by thunderbolting him to death, like <laughs> trying to shock him awake. He just turned to fucking stone for some goddamn reason. Because he got he got collided between two Pokemon superpowers. <laughs> That was great. Oh, man, that was, that was sad. Oh, the first Pokemon movie. I'm all sad now. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, no, this movie this movie had a lot of really, like, it's not even a string of enjoyable moments. Like, I enjoyed the entire experience. Yeah. Right? Like, this isn't one of those things where it was like, uh, like, with Justice League, where the, like, there was a lot of setup. Some of it oh, was God. cool. Then, like, everything 
actually all the fun actually started at the third act when Superman showed up and punched the big bad and that yeah. was it. Like that was the only really good part of the movie. There were some amusing interest parts like when they're on the uh, fucking transport and uh, Yeah, we don't need to talk about that movie. Yeah. No, this movie actually manages to be entertaining. Um pretty much the whole time yeah. and like the inclusion of Pokemon in everyday life was the thing that like I was most excited to see the movie for and it pays off. I mean, it really does show just a whole world of people in Pokemon living around each other and it working out. Like when he's just walking down the street and you see the uh, whatever the fuck the panda Pokemon are called. Yeah, um oh I know I knew this. I I, I sat there in my right. head like, "Oh yeah, that's this Pokemon." And now I have no yeah. fucking clue what it was. And I don't I don't know anything past fucking the original fucking 250 right so uh i mean but still the from playing pokemon go and like just it's uh, pancham yeah pancham's the little one and it evolves into pangoro yeah but uh just a little bit i do know of other pokemon it's still so it's fucking entertaining as yeah that? yeah watching them run around the fucking little squirrels and charmanders running around with their yeah, trainers yeah, right? the, at the very beginning their of the movie partners. you get the diglets just going through yes. yeah like do the do the forest and the pidgeys and <laughs> the pidgeotos <laughs> it's like oh this is so cool yeah it's like i want a fucking pidgey i want a pidgey to sit on my fucking uh like windowsill right well, deliver now, letters <laughs> one thing um i i take a slight issue with it's later in the movie during the fight with Mewtwo throughout yeah. the city. It, he's riding on the back of a Pidgeot. And there's like a major size discrepancy there. Because it's teeny. Yeah, because like you look... Pidgeot's, Pidgeot's supposed like, to be like... Pidgeot's supposed to be like 7 feet tall, yeah. big ass, like 14 foot wingspan. Obviously not that big. But what I'm saying is it, it's supposed to be people size. Yeah. Because you see in the anime, like Pidgeot stands above when he shows up in the few times. Because Ash does have a Pidgeot. Pidgeot stands above all of them. Yeah, he's like seven or like eight, nine feet tall. He's like big enough for multiple people to ride on. Yeah. Yet the Pidgeot in this movie was just big enough for Pikachu to fit. So it I seems take... like the the because I was looking at the same thing the the frilly things on the back of the head. Yeah. They were definitely too long to be Pidgeotto, but yeah. it was the size of what you would expect a Pidgeotto to be. Right. Yeah. I mean, like, like seriously, the thing should not be able to fit in this room. No. And but it's like it's just big enough for, for Pikachu to ride on the back of. Otherwise, I, I thought a lot of it, like a lot of them, were great. Like the giant Torterra in the Torterra Garden. That was so fucking creepy. Yeah. That was that was well, that was so cool too. Yeah. Like it was. I agree. It was creepy, especially when you saw the eye, uh, like Jurassic Park flashbacks. Yeah. Like good Jurassic Park flashbacks. Well, that to me, the thing that freaks me out is imagining something that big. Like Pokemon, there's there's big Pokemon. Like they showed um, a Gyarados, and I thought that showed him perfect. Yeah, like, no, size. just a big. It's because he's like twenty three feet long. He's a yeah. he's a big fucking mon. But those Torterra mm. that they had genetically engineered—that's the whole point. Genetically engineering on animals is bad. Okay, I mean, um, which we we've seen that as a common theme throughout Pokemon. Exactly. Yeah, like, and that that's kind of the the gist of it. Oh, and mind controlling Pokemon is bad. Okay, I mean, <laughs> yeah, like that's mind control <laughs> yeah. is just awful. Period. But uh, the, they genetically and if engineered. If you don't those understand why mind huge. control is bad. You need to go kill yourself. <laughs> All right, but yeah, no, yeah, they, they were gi- fucking gigantic. It reminds me, it of, was excessive. Like yes, they they didn't walk that like, like, far out of the facility. Yeah, and then there were like four Torterra the size of a uh, fucking uh, like a plate. Like yeah, a like tectonic con- plate. Tectonic type plate. Of, yeah, and they just stand up, and literal mountains move and shit. Yeah, and then they lie, they sit back down, and it's all okay. The how how. How does no one know? That would have set off the fucking Richter scale for the uh, yeah, you country. That would you're, have talking, s- you're talking five, six, seven on the Richter <laughs> scale. Was, like, they were getting up. Land was splitting. Yeah, you know, they like, literally looked like the mountain range stood up. Yes. there's no, And nobody knew that they were that big and just sitting there. Nobody detected that? For how that? fucking long? Like, what kind of inertial dampeners do these fucking assholes have that That's, can... That can, that to, that that can that, sit there and literally dampen the inertia of actual earthquakes. Yeah. Because that the earthquake is really that that was the that was one moment that, you know, obviously a kids movie kind of saw it coming because they make it a point to point out, oh, they're genetically they're trying to engineer their size, blah yeah, blah. Yeah, yeah, cuz like they, and they're all standing up and 
Yeah, because they're in, in the laboratory. They're in the laboratory. This is we're a little bit because you know we we skip all yeah, over. Yeah, we're just jumping around. Go um, see the movie. But they go to the they go <laughs> to the lab where Mewtwo was created. They're investigating. They come across some genetically enhanced uh, Greninja. Greninjas who are stronger and faster. That's what they that was the point of them. More powerful. They, they stumble across a um, another little area. It looked like a zoo. Looked like yeah, it looked like a zoo. Where they had like fuck it. I'm gonna just call it an exhibit. Yeah, where they had. To Torterra in, in a case, and they were just normal sized Torterra, and they break into this case running from the Greninja later in the movie when the dickhead that activates it remotely opens their cage and they start attacking. So, um, by the way, they completely forget fucking cameras exist when they break into this facility because they're idiot kids, I guess. Like, dude. I live in a shitty little apartment here in, in the middle of Cincinnati. Yeah, there are I cameras. have cameras. There's a camera right here. Even disregarding having like a nanny cam. A nest cam or whatever. Just there's literally cameras everywhere. Yeah, why but, would you? Okay, fine. It's a it's a major it's, research facility. What? Here's it was another the question. The venom I have. thing. Here's, except this research facility had cameras. Here's the thing I want to know: Why were there not guards posted there? You know, like why um, would you not have guards I guess, posted there? I mean, the the facility was shut down. However, they left the Pokemon there. That kind of threw me off. Like yeah, they just like, leave them there to fucking starve. Like, but you yeah, mean? you'd expect guards, something. Something to be, like, some sort of maintenance crew, like, somebody at that gate. Okay, granted, the other twist is the dude plans on having the kid lead him to Mewtwo. Right. The the evil guy's whole plot, his whole plan yeah. hinges on capturing Mewtwo again after um, he escapes. Because Mewtwo has this unique ability. Maybe it's not well, unique. Mewtwo's a fucking psychic superpower Pokemon and can yeah. fuck with people. He can he can apparently transplant the soul of a human into a Pokemon that is raging because is, of the gas. Because of the gas, this is like again, don't say the move for the plot, but you know. But the the one thing the, you know the what, thing though? I was talking about the whole point of this, I the giant Torterra that was the one thing that I was like in the Pokemon movie. Yeah, was like no. Yeah. That's dumb. Yeah. Everything else was fine. Uh, the whole Mewtwo ripping a soul out and putting it into a Pokemon, a little, a little uh, weird. Okay, a little weird, a little but, dumb. But I will let but that go because, I, it's you know. Plot. Yeah. Whatever. I'll let that go because, like I said in the car ride home, Mewtwo is the Mary Sue of Pokemon. Yeah. He's, like, he's the fucking Gary he, Stu. He's the one, he's like, he's the Pokemon that could stand up to the god Pokemon Arceus. Like, it, it's well, fine. He's the Pokemon you use as a plot device. Yeah. He's the perfect plot device. He does, Mew, Mewtwo. He just does. Yeah. They just do Why what does you he need does? them to do. Why does he do? Because he's Mewtwo. The voice is creepy as hell. The voice is they creepy. Used it. Mewtwo opening his mouth and seeing his teeth yeah. creep the shit out of me. And it happens more later on when uh, the whole plot happens and the the bad guy does mind control Mewtwo. Well, no, he, he, I, I think he goes even a step further and actually transplants his mind in a, in a sense because his body just... I, I mean, he, he had yeah, mind I think control. He actually, I mean, he, oh, like, overrid Mewtwo's mind. I think mind. he actually specifically states that, too. Where yes. He, yeah. My, the, my the, body's there. My mind is here. But it goes off when the kid takes it off of him. Because the link is broken. Yeah. So there's so no, it's there's not, no more It's transfer. not like he he didn't do what he ends up doing as Mewtwo when he starts ripping people's souls and putting um, them into Pokemon. Here's another thing I take issue with. And this is a technological issue. And this is this is really stupid. But this is yeah. like the computer nerd in me coming out. How fucking light, how fucking long and how how did he achieve zero latency in that kind of situation where he has this oh, wireless well, neural link that, like that's just that's just space, space magic yeah that's, that's space magic there's a lot of space magic -y type stuff with the the fucking like like that's the thing though that's the thing we've been trying to solve for years how do you have zero latency wireless yeah. connections you know Moreover, they um, even show when the when the bad dude releases the Greninja, yeah. he has to wait for it to log in and allow him to take uh, control. Right. Yeah. So it's like <laughs> remote so control. That still required, a, but the fucking neural link is instant. Like how? Because yeah. our because our own firing neurons are not instant. Because reasons. It takes like half a second for you to feel pain if you're stupid enough to put your hand on the fucking oven. So it's like but, no slowpoke. There was no slowpoke in this that I can I, remember. I can't remember slowpoke. That is one thing I did do, and I, I tried to stop myself throughout the movie, other than like, going, oh, I know that Pokemon. I was doing that, but I was I didn't I wasn't like uh, 
I, I was. I tried not to, but I was like uh, waiting to see certain Pokemon. Right. Like I wanted to see, you know, like, oh, wait, where's the Slowpoke or where's this or anything like that. Like I don't remember seeing, like I, I thought I'd see, a, we'd see a Meowth or anything like that, but there's a lot of Pokemon that they left out. Of course, there's, there's 800 eight Pokemon. fucking 100 Pokemon to put in it, and they put in a lot. Yeah, they did. Um, I mean, there was a fair amount. You um, can tell they saved on budget by reusing certain ones that you see a lot. Like, like I said, you see a lot of Charmanders, yeah. Squirtles. Um, I it mean, seemed Mascot like there was a lot more. of Sneasel. What's that fucking... Uh, I saw one Sneasel. Well, there were, at the end, there were quite a few. Like, it looked like the uh, maintenance guys or whoever. There was like They had Charmanders. Two or three in the same Oh, wait, scene. no, that was a different... They had, they had all of them, the guys yeah. in the blue jumpsuits. But it, you could tell that they used the... Were, using some of the same models multiple times. I mean, it's a, it does. Like yeah, you said, I, I completely, I kind of understand that. I, I get why you wouldn't spend time making. Like, you, yeah, you sit there, you've got three, four hundred different Pokemon to sit there and model. And most of them don't have much in the way of differentiating features, like in, even in like the games. Yeah. You know? So it's like, it kind of makes sense that they reuse a lot of models. And they use, they do like, like they the were all incredibly detailed. Like the Bulbasaur oh, that yeah, you meet after whole... the Torterra event, there's like 30 Bulbasaur, well, 15 Bulbasaur there. They're leading him. And, and they, then they pretty the much thing. they pretty much look all the same. Yeah, so which I mean, completely understandable because it's and the, the and same. The, and it's the, like uh, seeing the little fairy things to pop the floets. Like they all. Look the guys I didn't same. know what the fuck. I just was like flying mushroom Pokemon. Okay. Uh, yeah, they're this fairy types. <laughs> they're fairy types, and they normally have flowers. Oh, okay. But. Because they're They've in the middle of a forest. <laughs> I mean, I, I would sit there and imagine, like, I know, um, I think Floette has, like, four or five forms, depending on oh, the season. Okay. So, but I'm also pretty sure they all hold flowers, <laughs> and they're just different colors. These were the stoner Florets. These yeah, were... there you go. They sit there, and they, they took care of the <laughs> These were the shrooms. <laughs> <laughs> they... Whoa, <bye. laughs> if one of them had said that, yeah. I'd just burst out laughing. Um, like if one of them would have used their, like, said slow it, like, slow it, man. <laughs> yes. They didn't, not a lot of Pokemon, like, they kind of would mumble their names, similar to some of the show, they do that a bit. Yeah. Um, But no, there wasn't much that was, like, clear, except for Pikachu. Which we only really see it once, yeah. when they're in the market, and he's like, can anybody else hear this? And then, like, the little... Pika, pika. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, that's it. In the end of the movie, but... Yeah. But yeah, they don't they don't have many Pokemon. Like they don't clearly Yeah. Like Charizard just growls a lot. Yeah. Which honestly he does that in the show too. The ape, yeah. The like, ape he doesn't things, say his name. The the monk what are those fucking assholes? Apums. Apums. Yeah, I think they kind of said their names. I, I can't say I remember, but also all I remember is him going crazy when he yeah. fucking opens a window and all the gas. He goes sprays down. the fucking gas all over Why him. Why are you so that stupid? That scene was literally my experience for the last week and a half of Pokemon Go. Oh my god. Because Apem, there's a fucking shiny and they're spawning all over the place and I still can't get a fucking shiny Apem. Yeah. And I can't even get an amazing Apem. I just need one to evolve. Um, <laughs> I can't I, get one. I've gotten to a point uh, when it's stuff like that. Where I'll let my go my gotcha like just catch mons as I'm walking home yeah. from work or whatever. I'll catch like thirty of those fucking things a day. If there's not a shiny among them, I'll go fuck. Yeah. I'm not transfer. looking I'm not looking for an amazing Apum. I'm not looking to use Apum in battles because normal type Pokemon blow. <laughs> um but I'm like, ah, all right, let's see what happens here. Not a single fucking shiny. Yeah. But I love how my gotcha caught me a random shiny Eevee. When shiny Eevees weren't even a thing. <laughs> like, oh, okay, thanks. Thanks, Well, that's like the other day I got a shiny cubo. Right, yeah. <laughs> the like, saddest Pokemon ever. Yeah. And he's green. <laughs> like, add insult to injury. He's yeah. he's He's got... He's sad because his mother died. He wears his mother's skull. And he's green, the least creative color. Um, One of the... Oh, you know what? That is a link to the show. I mean, it's in the... It's in the uh, in the uh, I mean, fucking it, Pokedex it, too, but I was going to say Psyduck. It's just a lore thing where Psyduck has the headaches. Yeah, know? the headaches that end up materializing psychic powers that are like vastly overpowered. That are, yeah, are no psychic ability whatsoever. Like in the like, as, like it's amazing as a move. I, you know, that's another thing. Psyduck um, is actually as powerful as Mewtwo. <laughs> just oh, that's another thing I also take issue with. Hmm. Uh, Greninja's dark and water type psychic move should have no effect on him. Because in the game, type effectiveness wise, psychic Pokemon are or dark Pokemon are immune to psychic moves. I mean, it, I took it. Uh, now, sure, it was psychic, but it was like a, 
It was a wave of force. Right. I get what you're saying. But if it's psychic, in the, move, in the, if it's a psychic type, yeah. it's going to be harmless to them. In the moment when uh, the, the, they so finally... So you know what? We're going to call it force. It's, and Mewtwo... Well, it, like, knock down fucking trees. Mewtwo now I will allow, uh, because Mewtwo can learn a vast majority of moves, and one of his signature moves has always been Shadow Ball. Yeah. Which is a ghost type move. You can also which you can see the fucking um, the Gengar use on yeah. the Blastoise and yeah. Blastoise used withdraw and fucking I they when they show Pokemon actually being doing fights and stuff in this movie like at the end when Pikachu is jumping around fighting Mewtwo in Mewtwo the city. while fighting the dude overtaken Mewtwo oh well, yeah um it, the fight scenes in this movie the action scenes are really really fucking great they're really like, well so, done like like if this movie was majority action scenes. Uh, it still would have been a fucking great movie. It probably oh, yeah. would have been no, better because I, I the story was kind of dumb. But I mean, yeah, um, I really would love to see just how many battles. action movies have we seen that where the story was stupid as shit and or, it was a any great good. fun movie. <laughs> yeah, like shoot 'em up. I will. I will always refer to that. That had the stupidest, dumbest, most fuck with it plot ever. It's one of the best action movies I've it's ever seen. It's just a fucking crazy ass action movie. Like yeah. it just it goes hard, man. It does not it does not the, let the, up. Fast and Furious is a good example of right, that. Right, yeah, cuz that's another one of those things where the plot is stupid. Oh, so the movie dumb. Is and they fun. know it. That's the they that's know the, it absolutely. That helps is when you know, you know, you you're self-aware. I mean, like like with shoot 'em up, Clive Owen is this, this Clive Owen. Clive Owen, yeah. He kills a guy with a carrot. God, that <laughs> Like he so jams fantastic. a carrot in his mouth and it hits it through the back of his head. Like that's fucking like <laughs> he just no. eats carrots it's for no it. fucking reason he just eats carrots. Oh, yeah, no, like movie. like the very beginning of the movie. If you've never seen it, go watch it. It's can't be a shit, and but it's so much fun if you love action flicks. At the very beginning of the movie, he's sitting on a fucking bus stop. Yeah, and there's just this pregnant woman running by, and she's very obviously in trouble. But he's like, I'm not getting involved. With that. He's just and he's literally sitting at the bus stop eating a goddamn carrot. He's and fucking in it. He's like. Bugs Bunny eating the fucking yeah, carrot. Yeah, like, it's, it's just a fucking Doc? raw, like, straight out of the goddamn ground carrots. Like, he picked it up at, like, the Walmart down the road just five minutes earlier or whatever. The farmer's market. <laughs> yeah, like, the, so he's just sitting there, and this lady walks by. She's obviously in distress. She runs by. She's obviously in distress. And then he sees some shithead walk by, and he sees him and hears him cock a gun. He's like, fucking it's hell. That, it's your typical reluctant action hero yeah, like, and it's exactly the whole movie is like that it's fantastic it is really but we're here good. to talk about pokemon god damn it we are here to talk about pokemon but that was it that yes. was you know that was a reference that was topical luke leave me alone <laughs> but um this like uh, that's one thing i think and again i've said it i think i said it this last time we're spoiled i'm totally spoiled by avengers yeah the end of the movie when pikachu is like chasing down mewtwo uh, and everyone has been fucking turned into their Pokemon. I really, really badly wanted it to be like a Pikachu going, hey, fucking help me. And like you just see a giant ass Pokemon battle, like the trailers for Pokemon Go yeah. when they introduced raids. When you just see like 100 people. And there's like 20,000 people at yeah, Times Square. all of them with their just... Pokemon shooting at Mewtwo. I seriously, when I saw the trailers, I thought we would get that in this. Like I wanted that so bad. <laughs> and then we get just Pikachu fighting him. But it was okay. It was still But fun. I so fucking badly wanted like 500 Pokemon. Yeah, all like just shooting like, like at Like a Charmander too. firing yeah. Ember at it. You got like a fucking, Venusaur over here hitting it with Vine Whip. All the birds leaf. like coming at him yeah, and shit. Like, oh, dive it bomb, so Brave Bird, cool. shit like that. Let's see this shit happening. But they didn't do that. No. And I can see why they didn't do that. It's a kid's movie, right? And, yeah. and all the Pokemon were made retarded by being you know, combined with humans. Yeah, and not to... Uh, <laughs> yeah, basically, that's what's going on. There really should have... I wish... I kind of wish there was more, whereas people were having just existential crises. Like, oh my god! I'm a fucking... I'm a fucking Psyduck! This sucks more than anything else ever could suck! <laughs> like, of course, all they can do is say, oh, Psyduck said Psyduck. Yeah, Psyduck did say Psyduck that's, a lot. I, mean, I didn't... I, yeah, I forgot about that. But... That just I think there should have been more like the the fucking uh, Ken Watanabe yes. plays the a lieutenant a police lieutenant and his Pokemon is the fucking fairy Snubble. dog Snubble, which was hilarious. He said his name a few times too. Yeah, uh, he kind of growls. His hey name. man, did did Snubble, Snubble kill hate me? What Ken Watanabe? <laughs> Because you see when... Like, oh, wait, they, well, no, they got turned into him. But right, yeah, it I, looked like it jumped on his face and just started like, biting his face. It looked like it was face. biting his neck and yeah. like, ripping well, he, out he his throat. he wasn't exactly trying to stop it either. He's like, no, Snubble. <laughs> <laughs> I 
Like, Ken Watanabe is a badass. He could have kicked cool Bass actor. Knuckles' ass. Like, yeah. Um, he fucking, you know, pals around with Godzilla. That's true. Um, uh, I mean, <laughs> it's Godzilla. Surely a Godzilla is better than that shitty little snubble. fairy dog. That's what I'm saying. He got turned into a fucking snubble. That's got us, like, if your partner is a fucking Charizard, it'd be like, I think they should have had a moment where somebody's like, this is so fucking cool. Like, just flying around as a Charizard. Right? I, I know I would. Shit. Yeah. I would figure out, how do my wings work? <laughs> Fuck yeah. There's, but there should have been so many people like, oh, I'm a fucking Weedle. I got turned into like a Magikarp. Fucking, yeah, like the poor bastard who has a Magikarp or a fucking... That, that would have been great. But no. It didn't <laughs> the, give us that. Bug, the bug catchers, like, oh. I'm Caterpie. I knew I shouldn't have fucking kept Metapod around. <laughs> yeah, why would... Why? <laughs> You're just there and all you can do is harden. Just, and they, if they had done, like, a final fucking battle with Mewtwo flying around, blasting Pokemon away and shit, and you just see a Metapod just sitting there just... Eh, you see a Metapod just launch at him? Because <laughs> they can use Tackle. That's if they true. evolve from a Caterpie, fucking... they can just use Tackle. So just... <laughs> you see a fucking Metapod fly across the hair? Smack him just... in the side of the head. Ah, what saves the... the day. Knocks the little thing off. Yeah, there you Knocks go. Knocks the uh, mind control device there off. There you go. That's that's the movie I want to see. That's the ending. Fans, make that happen. I'd rather see some fucking Charizard pick it up and throw it at him like a <laughs> Fucking like some random Australian. A yeah, pitch him. Turned into his Charizard. Fucking yeah. flings him like a boomerang. You just see fucking Metapop. Boom. Yeah. Him. Like, with, like, dead on accuracy, like, the that boomerang, the hero from DC or whatever, whatever the fuck his name oh, is. Oh, Captain Boomerang. Captain Boomerang. They, oh, my God. If they had gotten, uh, if they could have gotten, what's his name? Wolverine, uh, Hugh Jackman. Oh, man. <laughs> in this movie. <laughs> just because Hugh Jackman in this and not in Deadpool. You know what would have made me mad? <laughs> if there's like, like we walked out when the credits started rolling, I would have been super angry if we Oh, I'm going to be mad scene. to find out. Yeah, if there's like a scene of Pikachu at the end. And just dresses talking. Deadpool. Oh. Because I, I want that. I but, seriously, that's, I wish they would just animate Ryan, like Pikachu, just talking. But it's so easy. Well, yeah. not easy. I mean, you know, the animation. Like, I can't do it. However difficult that is, yeah. But then you just add it. Add fucking Ryan Reynolds talking. Somebody did uh, animate. They, they, they took a... Uh, well, did you see the Deadpool uh, video where they just... They, the Pikachu oh, yeah, they Deadpool. just had... Pe- that's what they did. They did the easier one. It was just pick a pick. <laughs> the whole time Deadpool his face pl- plastered into the... Well, ooh, Rich Canadian letters is your pick a pick. Yes. <laughs> like, yes. That was funny. That was good. Like, I, I, I'll, I'm not going to... You got your po- Deadpool in my Pokemon. Well, you got your Pokemon in my Deadpool. <laughs> <laughs> and you know what? I liked it. Yeah, I it was good. I really didn't know. That. This movie was great. Ryan Reynolds was great. The acting was so-so. The plot was awful, which is <laughs> it was fine. Dumb, it's yeah. fine. It's like, what you, I, you, I don't expect much. I didn't expect much from that out of it. I just yeah, wanted no. to be po- entertained by Pokemon. And, and I, I was I was very thoroughly entertained by Pokemon. Yeah, yeah. it was great. Like, I go see the movie. Like, it's seriously, seriously if that scene where um, uh, Gengar is fighting Blastoise was like 10 minutes longer, I'd been fine with that. Because oh, it was yeah. just so fucking cool. Yeah, that the was battle that, scene. The battle scene was great. Uh, oh, pardon just give me. me more of that. Give me more of that. Yeah, like, like just, just you know what? Do a game like this. Do a gritty, realistic Pokemon game. You can. It doesn't have I mean, to be. I don't really need a gritty. I, I just. I, I gotta say, I after this, I wouldn't mind it if they did it. I don't I want. Don't I don't want it to happen. But if they did it, I'd be like. Okay, the I'll thing buy is, that. a game is never going to look and feel like this, I guess is the best way to put it. It's like why I've always said before they made a shitty movie, um, I wanted World of Warcraft to just do a movie. Yeah. Because the cinematic trailers for World of Warcraft were always fucking amazing. I mean, all the cinema, like even going back to like Warcraft 2 and those shitty little animated, like they were cool. They were really cool. But like that's a big, that's a big part of it is then they tried to add a story to it and all I really wanted to see was just a fucking World of Warcraft characters fighting each other in yeah. like really cool digital. Give us an hour me, and a half of that. Just give me that with Pokemon. Just yeah. fucking Pokemon battles. Yeah. With, tra- you know, trainers giving them advice and shit and then Ryan Reynolds there for some reason. Because he has to be yeah. now. Like, okay, I want to see Ryan Reynolds and his Pikachu fucking having a Pokemon battle because apparently he fucked up that Charizard pretty bad. He had a scar across yeah. his face from a Thunderbolt. And ruined the dude's coat. <laughs> I don't give a shit about your coat. I know, but it was funny. Uh, I loved it because that was his general demeanor. Like, 
Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, sorry, I, I guess. I don't give a shit about your coat. <laughs> I don't know anything about this. I'm just trying to find my dad, dude. Yeah, I, I don't know what's going on, man. Me to figure out this purple shit. I gotta say, I was not intimidated by that guy whatsoever. No, the dude was funny. He was, he was like the, the, right, but he's the like, I'm tough yeah. kind of just douchebag. The, 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 yeah, the TV, the TV <laughs> it kind stuff. Of, it kind of more in, it, it like, oh yeah, no, that's the kind of person that would just have a Charizard. Just yeah. like I'm super tough, I have you know the toughest, meanest looking fucking Pokemon possible type. Right, thing. yeah. I was like, oh yeah, no. I, get I would, that. I would give you that because something like Dragonite, which is stronger, he, he's just friendly looking. Dragon, yeah, no, he's Dragonite just a big, he's just, he's just, a, just a big, big happy fucking... dragon. Yeah, <laughs> he delivers letters and shit. Like he doesn't yeah. give a shit. He's a happy go lucky guy, but Charizard, Charizard's an asshole. Charizard We've seen looks it. like a big fucking douchebag. He, he really fucking douche does. Douchebag dragon. Douchebag dragon. But he's not even a dragon. No, he's not. That's... Unless you mega evolve him, then he becomes a dragon. <laughs> and he gets dragon type. Yay, dragon type. <laughs> it's stupid. That was good. Yeah. But yeah, overall, I liked it. Yeah. Um, I think it, I think I'd say I'd almost see it again. I'd probably it'd be something I'd want to rent, and it would be primarily just because. I just want to see the Pokemon again running around in a semi real. And you definitely want to listen to Ryan Reynolds just be yeah. Ryan Reynolds. Like, yeah, he was funny. The, there's the scene with Mr. Mime is extended quite a lot from yeah. the trailers. Yeah. And and that was actually really funny. That was goofy. Yeah, that was goofy, it was goofy in all and the ways it needed to be. Like, yeah. I I love that scene. They they encounter Mr. Mime when they go down to the docks or whatever. Which it the first lead they away. get. It tried to run away, oh but it was God. running in place because it's a fucking mime. It's a Mr. Mime. He's, does he look like he recognized you? And he's like, no. <laughs> and then he starts running, but he's running in place. And Pikachu gets like, oh, on no. a motorcycle. He's getting on a motorcycle. Stop him. Yes. Stop him. Having Ryan Reynolds narrating in the background. So fucking. Uh, he's right. going down hard, man. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, he's not going uh, back to should have wore a helmet. <laughs> 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 it was so good. If you watch this movie for any reason, watch it because Ryan Reynolds. Because uh, of that scene. Like, that. Yeah. that him just. Him just throwing out shit when they're trying to guess what the what he's miming, <laughs> and he's throwing out like those hard truths like you're alone, you have no friends, like <laughs> you can be alone because you push everyone away. <laughs> it's like oh wow, someone's projecting. <laughs> it was good. So and, and I, so I got a question now. Yeah. Was that Pikachu? Is that was supposed to be Pikachu's character, or was that Ryan Reynolds? Or his dad? Or, oh yeah, Ryan Reynolds, the actor, or yeah. the dad, or was it the character he was playing? I don't know. I know there was the other day an article that the, it was like, I bet that's interesting. I'm not gonna read it. The title was something about like the real sad place where Ryan Reynolds' funny comes from, and I was like, oh, I get, yeah, all comedians are damaged. Oh yeah, absolutely. This is true. Like I get, I, I know. Like all of my so jokes, wanna... all of my jokes come from my pain. Yeah. Like we've established that this is where the, the pain is a great pain and stress are great creators of comedy. Yeah, that's why most comedians have anxiety issues and fucking terrible childhoods and, and drug all that shit. and drug problems. Yeah, a drug lot problems of them come along alcoholism, with alcoholism, some are addicted to cocaine. And it's funny when you meet the the few comedians who are like, "No, I had a fucking great childhood," <laughs> and the rest of the comedians are like, "You can have that and still be funny, you asshole." Yeah, fuck you. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here. Everyone starts booing him because that's how it works. Because <laughs> all of us are fucked up. Except everybody's fucked up. Yeah, no, I, but yeah, no, I mean, was... dark humor is my thing. I make those jokes because I've experienced pain and trauma and that helps me cope. Mm. It's a coping mechanism and there's nothing wrong with coping mechanisms. That's how we get through the day. This is has been a PSA from the Ungodly Geeks. Comedy is a great, uh, great, <laughs> great coping mechanism. Yeah, there you it's go. It's great for healing. I mean, Patch I'd... Adams was a fucking psychopath, though. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> probably. Um, I bet he had people in his basement. I mean, well, I'm just saying the fact that, like, literally all he did was, we can make him laugh and they'll heal. No, that's not... That's not how it works. That's not how it that's works. That's what I'm saying. Patch like, Adam was, was the villain in his own movie. Yeah, like, he, he is the people, you know, he sits there, he makes the patients laugh, and then when they die later, he puts their bodies in their fucking... Well, that was the unfortunate thing about that movie. Yeah. Is they make it out like this doctor um, was, you know, that that was his whole thing. Like, that's all he did. Yeah. And then it turns out that the real guy who it's inspired by was like, no, a legit doctor who saved people's lives and shit. And not because he fucking put them in a bath of spaghetti. Like, <laughs> not because he wore a weird nose and made funny exactly. noises. Exactly. Yeah, like, like, no, he was an actual doctor who did the healing thing. Okay. Well, with medicine. Um, I, I'm, I've run out of steam. 
Yeah, it's I'm a great fucking movie. Go oh, see. I was going to mention, other than going and seeing this movie, um, WB just released another movie. Um, I bought the. Have they? I, I bought it on streaming. Yeah. Um, it's an animated movie. It's, oh, okay. So uh, it's Batman worth... versus the Ninja Turtles. Oh, 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 yes. Um, and I remember hearing about yeah. this being a thing. So they've done a comic. Uh, actually, they've done a few comics where this is the basically a animated movie version of the first of the Batman versus the Ninja Turtles. And there's three of those. And then they did one that's based on like Batman, the animated series and one of the recent uh, Ninja Turtles series on Nickelodeon. Right. The other the one this movie is kind of it's not based on any one generation of either property right but kind of like an amalgamation so this batman there's things that really do harken back to the animated series there's different stuff where like it's damian wayne is um is robin right and right. batgirl's really younger he's not in the you know the black cowl he's in the blue cowl and the blue and gray and yada yada but it's like really really good Oh. Like if you're a Batman fan, if you're a Ninja Turtles fan, it's am, enjoyable. As I am both of those things. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, well, I, I was Ninja honestly Turtles. quite a bit surprised. I don't care for the new weirdly animated one, but yeah, they. I haven't watched any of the newer ones in a while, but this is, this is more. It's not. It's still a kids movie, but like people die. There's a moment where Shredder and um, uh, Ra's al Ghul right. are going through Arkham, and they're just fucking murdering guards, like. Fighting, cutting heads off and like Shredder impales a dude on his claws and you actually see blood on the dude's shirt which kind of surprised me right. so I'm assuming this is still like a I think it's PG or PG-13 but like they fucking decapitate people and shit you don't see the blood spraying or anything but his head rolls on screen in one side and the body falls on screen in the other side and it's like oh damn How is that not he R-rated? just cut that dude's fucking head off wow I was like damn they went there but it's it's actually really really fucking good just for seeing the shredder who's like this one side of my childhood fighting batman yes was so fucking cool i haven't even finished the movie i've gotten like to the end um but yeah no the movie's great there's scenes where you see the batmobile and the fucking uh turtles van (laughs) yes oh it's so it's it's one of those nostalgia things so anybody should Go check that out. I'm, I'm going to. Yes. Yeah. Yep. All right, guys. Well, that's it for us. We're going to go ahead and wind down there. Go see Pokemon Detective Pikachu. Yeah. Go Fun check movie. that movie out. It's Fun definitely movie. entertaining. Even if you're not a kid, you'll still enjoy this. If Especially you liked if you, Pokemon. Yeah. If you even ever, if you just liked the 150. It's good. It's really yeah. good. Um, you know, I, that's all I really have to say. So if you guys like this, you know, give us like, comment, yep. share, subscribe. And rate us on the iTunes. Give us all that stuff. Go to Patreon. Give eh, us money. Yeah, give us a dollar. <laughs> give us five bucks to get early access. You know. Yeah. And we'll make fun of you. Mm-hmm. Well, we don't make fun of you. That's at the fifty dollar tier. Yeah. Join our Discord. Join our Discord. We have a Discord. Go go click on it. Pop in. We talk about shit randomly sometimes. Yeah. But for the ungodly geeks, I was Joe. I was Luke. You guys have a good day. See you. Fuck you.